So now that we've gotten the main dovetails cut out for the top and the sides, I've already went ahead and started working on one cross member and also one of the radiuses for the legs. Now I originally was going to have a cross brace going right through the middle and then either ending it flush on the sides or stopping it on the inside or either making a through mortise and tendon with it being pinned on the outside. But I ended up liking the detail of having the dovetails for the cross brace as well. So let's go over how that is done. The first portion that we're going to start off with is by cutting the cross brace dovetails. This is going to simply have two tails on it and the way I got the width was making this the exact same length as this because this will be protruding through both ends of the legs so you need it the same length. Now to get my location for my cross brace, I'm simply going to be making a mark at 5 inches down the board from the top of the leg. And I'll take my square This mark right here is going to be for the shoulders of your dovetail part. And now that I've got my main mark, I'm going to line that up with the top edge of my cross member. And then I'm going to line my two shoulders up. And go over this lightly. And I've got my lines right there, so now I can take my square again. And just go over and make them a little bit darker so that I can actually see where they are.
So after getting the sides cut out, I went ahead and moved down here into the bottom section to get this little arch. You can either use this right here, tie a string down near the bottom, use a paint can of the same radius or something of that sort. You can be creative with it. But I simply set this to two and a quarter inches for the radius and then I found the center point on the very bottom and then I just made the arch following it all the way around and now it's time to cut this portion out. is cut out I kind of want to round over the edges so I've got a really rough rasp and then a really smooth one and I'm just going to take to it going with the arch taking out any kind of imperfections from the cut and also rounding over the edge now this is just like hand planing you're going actually against the grain so if you push against this side you'll actually break some of the wood on this side so only do halfway around So here is the dry fit. I went ahead and made sure everything worked out correctly and attached right and everything does. There's a few gaps in some of the dovetails but I will take care of that in just a little bit during the glue up process which is what's next. So we gotta disassemble this, put glue on it and then get it all clamped back up.
Alright, so there we are. It's completely glued up now. All of the pieces have been cut. It's in the clamps. Now the next step that I'm going to have to do is make sure that all the glue dries. Scrape it off with either a car scraper or take a chisel and just chisel it off that way. But the question I have for you guys is what kind of finish should I put on this? Um, if you guys have opinions, your favorite ones, uh, different steps I should take for a good clean finish, you know, let me know in the comment section below and if it's a new one, maybe I'll try it out. I've done spray lacquer before, spray polyurethane, different things like that. But if you guys have something new and unique that would be good for this little stool, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below and uh, I'll try it out and we'll see how it goes in the, the next video for the final video of the dovetail stool. So just leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you guys have any other comments, leave them down below. See you on the next video.